when I first started teaching pathophysiology at the graduate level, I had just completed my postdoctoral training in neuroendocrinology at UCSF. And I came to grips with certain challenges in working with the group of students I had. First of all, there was tremendous variability in student readiness for graduate level sciences. The extent to which students had recall of chemistry, biochemistry, genetics, cell biology was very variable. And the degree to which they had retained many of the undergraduate physiology concepts really was very variable. So I had to come to grips with that. Uh, when I got my PhD in physiology, I had an organ systems medical physiology course that covered heart, circulation, lungs, kidneys, GI tract, endocrinology, and then there was a separate medical physiology, I'm sorry, medical neuroscience course at the same time. But when I came to teaching this advanced pathophysiology course, I found that it also had to cover hematology, immunology, and infectious diseases and things that had been outside of the traditional medical physiology course. So there was so much content to cover, it seemed very overwhelming to me. Then the next thing is recognizing that the physiology and the pathophysiology of the body changes tremendously from embryonic to fetal development. So all of prenatal development plus infancy, childhood, adolescence, adulthood, and on into the changes that come in older adults. So trying to capture appropriate uh, information about the lifespan changes was an additional time that had to be allocated. And finally, because this course came very early in the curriculum, it was taught concurrently with physical, the advanced physical assessment class, but it was really the prerequisite for the courses on differential diagnosis, on um, management, and on pharmacology. And so to try to provide the relevant foundation for those courses that were to follow seemed like it was a very, very daunting task. And I was so afraid that my students would look like this, that they would be so overwhelmed, not just with the reading for my course, but all of their other courses, as well as juggling life as people who were working, raising families. I thought, I have to follow the precept of a, a mid 20th century architect, Mies van der Rohe, who coined the term, less is more. <laughs> 